Welcome back to Stockwatch and joining us live here in the studio is of course Proton Holdings Burhad's Group Managing Director Dato Syed Zainal joining us live here. Um, now before the break Dato Syed, uh, we were talking about Proton's presence overseas, particularly in new markets like China, India and in Eastern Europe. Right. But of course what about uh, Proton's existing presence in, in big developed markets like the UK and Australia? What's it like over there? Well, we're now taking stock and looking at a much more holistic view about our current existing markets. Obviously today, you know, for the limited resources in you know, both people and monetary that we have, it should be focused on areas of high growth. Mm -hmm. And surely today, high growth are China, uh, uh, India, ASEAN. So in countries like UK and Australia in particular, uh, growth is still there, but it's very small. And the competition is very extreme in, in those countries. So we are really looking at a very strategic review of our position yeah, in UK in particular uh, and also in Australia. Um, we know that we have a, you know, a following of customers there. We do not like to disappoint them. But I think we need to make a you know, good, prudent business decision. So you know, hopefully by end of the year, we'll, you know, we'll have, when the strategic review is finished, then we should be able to decide. Because one, we have to look beyond just one year. It has to be about five to ten years. Mm -hmm. uh, investments are very high in this market, you know, cost of branding and marketing is very expensive. Mm -hmm. So we need to look at the returns, you know, because this is about, you know, uh, running in a company to make, make sure it's profitable. Ten years ago, being in the UK you know, is supposed to be very strong, you know, because, you know, being in the UK means you have kind of age. But today, it's a global economy. You know, everywhere you go, it's competition. So I think we have to be very pragmatic in our view. And hopefully by the end of the strategy review at the end of this year, I think a decision will be made. But I mean, we're not going to do it for the sake of doing it. We'll need to make a business decision. And that's exactly what we're going to do in review. And hopefully that will be done very quickly. Okay. Um, so do you have a timeline for this uh, review of strategy? All this will be finished by you know, uh, the end of this financial year, which is by end of March. So, so that as we go to mm -hmm. next financial year, I think all this position and you know, the strategy will be made clear in all these existing markets. Right. Now, in, in newer markets like, say, China, I understand that you are actually working together with partners and uh, the Proton, you're actually... Um, using different names <coughs> for the uh, for the cars. When do you foresee um, the Proton badge actually being used in these markets? I think what's unique in our relationship with a company called Young Men in China is to allow Proton to really understand the market dynamics in this country. China, as you know, is a very complex and a very large market. By doing this, first of all, we also see whether our car is, you know, uh, is competitive mm -hmm. and whether it's adapting to local road conditions, both weather, climate and so on. And so far, Alhamdulillah, it's been good. Secondly, to look at the customer itself, to understand the dealer network and the customer preferences. Today, we have a team now in China that understands this. And I think, you know, uh, over time, this gives us better ammunition and better, you know, uh, strength to make sure that our products for the future that were coming out will really appeal to the people in China. And in China, you have to compete with the best in the global business. Mm -hmm. uh, if you ask me in terms of time, we hope within a year, a year and a half, the Proton brand will be there. I mean, in every country that we go, mm -hmm. the ultimate is to have a brand of our own and yeah. to carry the Malaysian flag. But we want to do it right because the cost of advertising and branding, as you appreciate, is very expensive. And we cannot afford to damage the brand you know, uh, in, you know, in our first foray. So I think this is a very good opportunity for us to learn. And hopefully soon, you know, uh, we will go with a Proton brand. Okay, now, another thing that was touched on um, in the uh, NAP and also the recent budget was also green car sure. technology. Now, where is Proton now in terms of green car development and uh, would that affect Proton's business model in any way? Well, like any other car companies, I think we need to be clear to not, not to be left behind with the rest of the competition. Surely you've seen a lot of other OEMs are going to hybrid, electric and so on. Uh, quietly, over the last year and a half, actually, we've been embarking on this already. Uh, if you remember, we do own a company called Lotus uh, mm -hmm. in the UK, and Lotus has its own technology. So we have two vehicles that's been running on hybrid program, Lotus, has been tested. Today, we have four cars you know, that have been tested in our facility in Shah Alam that's running on electric, and now we're embarking another series hybrid program, now Exora. Why are we doing this, Shani? Because we want to understand the technology. I think it's, you know, the, the hybrid and the electric technology is not about you know, uh, the car itself, it's about component, which is the battery and the motor. Mm -hmm. So we're working with you know, a large battery company and a motor company to make sure that you know, we can understand the technology and hopefully, inshallah, hopefully by early next year, we'll embark on a much bigger fleet program. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, with the support of the government uh, under the NAP to further understand the market dynamics and the, you know, the, you know, the uh, performance of the car. Then, hopefully, by middle of end next year, we are then able to make a decision whether you know, you know, we are going to go on a full-scale commercial. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but like any other OEMs, I think it's just a matter of time, you know, that people will switch, you know, into electric. Uh, it's getting the right packaging, obviously, today the challenge is the cost factor. Yeah. So we're working on it. Okay, of course, that leads me to my final question. Of course, your competitor, Perodua, is coming up with a new model very <laughs> secretly, uh, right. very soon. Any new model or product launches coming up in 2010 that we can look forward to? I think, you know, as we have said, you know, over our, you know, discussion or briefing with the press, uh, hopefully next year, uh, at least one model will be coming up from uh, for the company. When I first came to the company, we embarked on what we call a model replacement program. What we want to do is to replace all the old models with a new one. Mm -hmm. We've done that with the Persona for the Vira, Saga for the Xora, and Xora, you know, and the new MPV. So all the other fleet, I think, is just a matter of time. Uh, but we have to do it, you know, uh, we have to pace ourselves. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, to answer your question, next year there'll be one model coming up. If we can have the ability and the resource, we're trying to squeeze two. Mm -hmm. uh, but as I promised, there'll be at least one model out every year. I promise. And for Produa, I think we, we welcome healthy competition. You know, I think it's good. I mean, it's an open economy, open market. So, you know, it keeps us on our toes mm -hmm. so that we don't, you know, be complacent. Uh, and uh, I think it's, it's healthy, you know, on, for the whole economy. Okay, very, very, very quickly. Can you okay. give us an idea of which quarter next year and what type of segment you're looking at? Well, at least in the second half of next year. And mm -hmm. obviously, it's, you know, it's a CD segment, you know, mm -hmm. a bit more on higher aims. I think it's about time that Proton lift the brand image a little bit. I think we've been suppressed, you know, by a low brand value. And today, if you look at the statistics, things are improving in the right direction. We're not there yet by any means, but I think we need to invest a little bit more. New technologies, new performance cars, so that people can realize that Proton is not only about low segment, but also in higher end segment. So that's exactly what we're going to do, at least in the next one or two years. Okay, we'll certainly be looking out for that one, and hopefully okay. we'll be interviewing sure. you again when that comes out. Thank mm -hmm. you very, very much, Dato Said. You're most welcome. And that was, of course, Dato Said Zainal, our Group Managing Director of Proton Holdings, Braha, joining us live here in our studio. And with that, we come to the end of Stockwatch for tonight. If you have any questions about investing that we can help you with, please don't hesitate to email us at stockwatch at tv3.com.my. Also, don't forget to catch any interviews, including this one that you may have missed out on, at our new blog, stockwatchproducer.blogspot.com. On behalf of our team, have a great investing week ahead. Until next week, same time, same channel, I'm Shani Imanli. Good night.